Hello Ben, Amateur Radio Callsign M7FRS here and in this video I'm going to be looking at a pair of Baofeng or Bofeng UV17 Pro GPS handhelds. So recently Banggood reached out and said uh, hey do you fancy uh, trying out some of our radio gear for review on your YouTube channel and uh, they gave me some options of things I could choose from and uh, this is one of my first choices was the Baofeng UV17 Pro GPS well actually the pair of the uh, um, 17 Pro with GPS because you really need a pair to be able to try out some of the features that I wanted to uh, to try on these and there is some really cool features on here um, I've spared you the unboxing video sorry about that so what you'll get in the box then is uh, a nice rugged handheld especially like the uh, the orange one um, they're both plastic uh, cases I say they do feel uh, uh, nice and rugged they've got uh, quite a flexible uh, stock rubber duck antenna which will work from uh, about I think it's 136 to 174 megs transmit uh, as well as 400 to 400 uh, 400 to 480 transmit on the uh, on the stock antenna itself um, You'll notice there's no flashlight on the top of these. Uh, you've got your, your GPS antenna uh, and your transmit receive indicator as well as the uh, volume control. Uh, battery is a 7.4 volt battery. Uh, it doesn't actually tell me in the instructions or on the battery itself what the milliamp hours is, but um, unlike the other Biofangs or other Chinese radios where you clip the battery in, these are actually uh, uh, a decent screw fi fixing on these so there's no chance of the battery inadvertently falling off or getting knocked off on these uh, obviously come with a belt clip as well which you have to screw on rather than clip so um, again nice uh, nice rugged feel to the uh, the belt clip and all the usual things that you'd expect as well so uh, as with most of the Bayer things if you uh, remove the little port on the side there you've got the uh, Kenwood style uh, speaker microphone connection or uh, for your programming cable and then your push to talk uh, button for the torch and then the uh, second side push button as well what's nice about the battery also is uh, if you don't want to use the uh, desk drop-in charger you do have the uh, ability to plug in a USB-C cable and um, you get a small red LED illuminate on the back there when uh, when it's charging via uh, USB-C as well so uh, yeah another, another handy little feature of the uh, UV17 Pro so the UV17 Pro is a six band radio uh, with uh, three bands transmit so it will transmit from 136 to 174 megahertz on uh, VHF so that includes your two meter band it will also transmit on 220 to 260 megahertz so uh, for those of you for those of you that have got the 1.25 meter band it will transmit there although uh, just to note the uh, like I said earlier the the antenna doesn't actually cover um, the 220 to 260 megahertz band so you need a separate uh, antenna for for that band uh, but it will also transmit from uh, 400 to 480 which in obviously includes your 70 sims uh, band uh, but uh, receive wise it will receive 350 to 390 megahertz and from 480 right up to 520 megs also does FM broadcast band from 66 to 108 megahertz but uh, having a little play with this it will actually receive from 65 to uh, 108 megahertz so to put it into FM broadcast mode we just press the uh, side button once so that's how I, I found them actually we've got a, an internal um, website there you go and uh, it is lovely uh, clear audio on the uh, on the FM broadcast. Um, I was really impressed when it came on. Uh, it was a uh, nice uh, nice clear audio on that one. Press it again to uh, uh, to put it back into either frequency or channel mode, and uh, you'll probably notice that I've already switched off the uh, the voice prompt and the beep. Uh, I'm not a fan of that on the radio. So that's how I've spared you the unboxing, and I've already had a little play with the settings on here. So that's not as it would be out of the box. But um, you can see on the screen this one is already in uh, frequency mode. So to uh, put it into uh, uh, channel mode, as uh, this one is at the moment, so you can see the difference. You can see uh, frequency mode, you get slightly bigger, uh, more italic uh, numbers. And then when you're in channel mode, um, you get slightly smaller writing for your, uh, your channel names there. But to, uh, to change it into uh, channel mode, just simply press and hold the green button for a couple of seconds there you go and it'll put that VFO into channel mode 
to switch between your top and bottom VFOs. If you just press the blue button once, it will swap uh, to the bottom one. You see the uh, the brightness changes there. So if it's uh, illuminated in white, uh, it's the one you're using with a blue band underneath, and the other one will be in blue. And then when you swap swap VFOs, apologies for the light reflecting onto the camera. There we go. Uh, you'll see the again the blue bar, and then this one will turn white, and your your top one turns blue. So you can uh, it's very obvious which VFO you're uh, you're using. The screens are really good. I've, I've taken these outside already, and um, I've had a listen on uh, VHF Marine, and also uh, tried it out on Airband, as well as testing the audio on our uh, local 70 Sims repeater, which is about two miles from my house. Mike Seven Foxtrot Romeo Sierra M7. FRS listening GB3YL. Good morning, Ben. G0WHS4 aboard. Good talk. This is Lost Harbour. Uh, go ahead, sir. Uh, yeah, Lost Harbour, Tuck Tuck. Permission to uh, pass over the bridge and out to sea to the south. Over. That's all coming, sir. Permission uh, when you're ready. Oh, it's Lost Harbour. What's Glamour? What's Glamour? Lost Harbour. Go ahead, sir. We are about to commence uh, loading fuel. Do we have permission? That's all, copy, sir. If you'd like to give me a call uh, once you've finished your operation uh, with the time and uh, your final quantity of fuel. Roger. Crab crab, I see you. Requesting fuel information. Currently, uh, six miles to one. Uh, should be with you around five minutes. And although it doesn't show particularly well uh, in my little video clips there, um, because the uh, the light reflects off the screen. Actually, looking at the screen and when you're outside, it it was fine, but it just uh, doesn't uh, doesn't handle the camera particularly well because of the uh, the glossy screen there. Another nice feature of this is um, if we press the zero button, and you'll see that the uh, the zero button's got a uh, a little weather symbol or a little cloud with some rain coming out of it. I think that's supposed to be. If you press that one, it'll put it into WX mode. Uh, there you go. And then you've got all your uh, your 1 to 10 uh, weather channels already programmed in there with the frequency display underneath and again nice uh, logo to show that you're in those uh, weather uh, weather channel modes. I'm not going to go through the full menu on this uh, we are going to play with a few features but like I said I'm not going to go through the full menu but just press the green button once puts you into uh, the menu uh, it's exactly the same as you'd expect on uh, most bow fangs, bow fangs, whatever you want to call it uh, of all the same features it does come with a, um, a little user manual uh, strangely the user manual doesn't actually cover everything that this radio will do um, it says it's for the BF 17H series so um, yeah, it's not actually just for the uh, UV17 Pro and it mentions nothing at all of the GPS uh, functionality which we'll, we will have a play with in a minute um, but, uh, but yeah like I say menus are uh, fairly self explanatory so uh, I'm not going to go through the, uh, the menus because that would make for a, a long video. As I mentioned before where you'd normally expect your uh, white LED flashlight or torch LED to be on the top um, you've got the, the GPS antenna and that uh, little logo there so uh, they've put the uh, flashlight or torch LEDs in the bottom there and actually uh, it makes a really good uh, torch unlike the other ones which I thought was a bit of a gimmick to be honest on most of the other handhelds I know some of them are getting quite bright these days but uh, these uh, are actually really good so the button on the side there again nice uh, indication that, that is your torch button uh, by the logo on it we'll turn that on and uh, yeah that uh, that works really well as a, uh, a little torch I say a bit of a gimmick on the uh, older models but uh, with it underneath the radio yeah for me I just I just think that's a, a better position that's better to uh, to use like that so uh, yeah I may actually even use it on these uh, on these ones so one of the things I was keen to try out with this radio was the GPS functionality and uh, the ability to send GPS positions between radios and like I say there was absolutely nothing in the manual about this so it was a little bit of experimenting and uh, looking at other YouTube videos to find out how to do this but um, we've, we've sussed it out now and uh, if you see the little uh, pin at the top of the screen there the little GPS pin bit difficult to uh, to spot with the light I'm afraid but um, you'll see that's uh, white at the moment so that indicates that we have got a a GPS signal and uh, if we put these into GPS mode so we uh, long press the blue key we'll put it into GPS uh, mode and uh, you can see just on the right of the screen there you've got a little green 
uh, GPS sign. If that's red, then uh, you don't have a, uh, a GPS signal, and it will say my position success as well. So uh, it's got a uh, we know it's got a signal. And uh, so I've been out and uh, experimented with these. Uh, one thing you do need to do before we can uh, get them to talk to each other is uh, let's come out of that and let's go back to the uh, the main menu. So I'm going to press the uh, the green button and then I'm going to go down to radio settings and then we need to go into menu 19 so we can dial in 19 if we want to or scroll all the way down and go into ANI edit and then we'll press OK uh, and you need to make sure that the radio IDs are different so uh, I've got um, one of them on uh, 103, 102 so anything between 101 and 120 I believe is what it will operate at um, and you'll see why I've got uh, uh, those codes in in a minute but uh, let's go back into GPS mode and um, if I want to send my position we both need to be on the same frequency but to send a position uh, we can simply press and release the PTT and it will uh, share the position between, uh, between radios When we're in GPS mode, if we then press the uh, the green button momentarily, it will put us into this uh, little compass screen, if you like. So the first screen it will say uh, my place, and then uh, if we use the up arrows, uh, you can see contact one. Then so uh, I had the other radio set as uh, as contact one, and uh, I went away from from my QTH and transmitted and you can see I went uh, 2892 meters sort of uh, sort of to the southeast and uh, you can see the little red dot there so that gives you a, a range and bearing to uh, to where I was at that point and I changed it to contact 3 as well and you can see that I was uh, 8,404 oh, 8, meters away from the other radio, uh, and I was to the uh, the southwest, and you can see it's almost off the uh, uh, off the little compass there. So I don't know what the actual range is, but uh, that gives you an idea of um, of what the range is like. How I did that with only two radios, obviously that's why I changed the ID. So uh, the other radio would have been 103 and uh, 101 and 102 to uh, uh, to be different IDs on there. So anyway, that's just a quick overview of the uh, Baofeng UV17 Pro GPS handhelds. Like I said, there's a link in the description down below, as well as a, uh, a discount code uh, on for the Banggood website. Please, as usual, hit the like and subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, stay tuned, and we'll see you on the next one. 73.